Another video like this. Got to finish getting ready here. How do I go about talking about this? Honestly, I don't know. Here's a crazy person. I'm not saying this in a bad way. I don't know what this I don't know what this person's going through. This person thinks everybody's out to get them. That everybody's out to get what they have. Their phone is tapped. And they're going out to get a new phone because of it. I want to specify. They think their cell phone is tapped, so they're getting a new phone. They think their landline is tapped, and they think that there's a tap hidden in the, uh, one of the chairs that they have. I don't know what to say. This is a person that comes to me. I'm trying to keep to myself. This is a person for six months. A good six months. Every time I would remind them, they'd call me. Here's the thing. I would remind this person. Do not call me after 11 p.m. and do not call me before 9 a.m. Every time I would remind them of that. I would remind them after they called me at 2 a.m. And then they would call me the next like two or three nights later at like 2.30 in the morning. You gotta turn the uh, heating AC thing off. As I said, this person, I would remind them don't call me between a uh, certain time and then they'd call me in the middle of the night when I told them not to call me. So, they call me when I tell them not to. They think their house is bugged when they leave their doors unlocked. And they think everybody's out to get them. Other than that, they're nice people. At least they have been to me. I will be right back. I'm getting a drink. <sighs> and here's the bag I wanted to, I wanted to use as a trash bag. Anyway, like I was saying, overall, they've been nice people to me. With those few exceptions that I mentioned earlier. Now, now that because they think that they have people coming after them, and because they think their phones are tapped, they think I can hold on to their stuff for them. Because everybody wants their stuff. In all honesty, I've given up. I realize talking to this person isn't going to help. I've already told them that chances are, if there's a tap, chances are you'd be able to tell because I just didn't want to have to deal with it. But they continued to go on about the uh, wiretap. <coughs> As I'm recording this right now, it is, what, May 30th, 2020? All of this has happened within the past three days. They didn't show any signs of paranoia prior to this. At least none this bad. They expressed their concern regarding people spreading rumors. But, but that was it.
the when the time they did or the times they did specify that they thought people were spreading rumors. They said they were tired of it. They were tired of people talking about them. At this point, at this point in time, I don't know what I should do. Because just in the past hour, as of when I'm filming this, just, just, just within the past hour prior to me starting recording, they said that the uh, people in the apartments across the street We're watching, trying to gather information about everybody. <clears throat> I don't get it. I get, I understand, don't get me wrong, I understand that people's phone lines have been tapped before. But the only reason they would have been tapped is if the person that had their phone lines being tapped had done something to warrant their phone lines being tapped. And I get that paranoia is a hell of a thing. I can't say that I know the kind of paranoia this person's going through. I just want to be left out of it. I just want to be left out of it. It isn't my responsibility to worry about somebody else and their phone lines being tapped. It isn't my responsibility to speculate on who else is spreading rumors or try, uh, trying to find a reason for people to spread rumors. It isn't my responsibility to worry about other people and who is after them. I care about people. I care about people. I care about people. Don't get me wrong. But when it starts interfering with my livelihood and my health and my safety, I'm ready to cut ties with that person. I need to look after me. 
not worry about who is wiretapping who. I had enough of an issue the last six months of 2019 before my neighbor next door moved out. They were, um, I could hear their dog crying out in pain after being hit. They moved out in either December of 2019 or January of 2020. I had to deal with that for six months. And now there's all the riots and protests. As I'm currently filming this, there's riots and protests happening all over the country. I've got to deal with the riots and protests. I've got to deal with the coronavirus. I've got to look out for my health and my safety. I've got to look out for me. I can't be worrying about somebody else's paranoia. I can give somebody advice if they feel like they're paranoid about something. But here's the thing. If they don't take my advice, I've done everything I can do. I can't change somebody else and I'm not going to try to change somebody else. I've got to focus on me. I've got, as I said before, as I said before, I have to worry about me. I have to worry about my health and I have to worry about my safety. This person claims they're being wiretapped. I'm not saying it's true or false, but if it's true, I don't want to get involved. I don't want any involvement because if they're being wiretapped, and that's a big if, but if they're being wiretapped, I don't want them tracing anything back to me and I don't want to get my ass tapped. Even though I've got nothing to hide, I still don't want it because I feel like it's an invasion of privacy. But here's the thing. What I said was a huge Huge, huge, huge if. As I said before, this person has generally been a nice person to me. I'm not complaining. They've made a, mis a few mistakes. They've made a few mistakes here and there, but that's human nature. And I'm not complaining about that. What I am complaining about is the fact that this person who has remained nameless throughout the entire video, this person has been involving me in something that I want no part in. And I've already said that.
and they're still involving me in this stuff. I don't know what to say, and I don't know what to do. And I, I realize I can see the comments in the comment section of the video. Anyone that leaves a comment, chances are they're at least going to consider saying, ignore them, eventually they'll leave you alone. Ignore the person. But here's the thing. They are obsessive about it. If you have any advice, please let me know in the comment section. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I want you to receive all the notifications in case I decide to do this again. And, um, give me a like on this video if you want me to do more of these uh, types of videos when they come up.